Hello. 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 Very nice to meet you. This is definitely a this is definitely a first, I think. <laughs> oh, well, firstly, huge congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Is it a little boy or a little girl? It's a little boy. Little boy. <laughs> He's so sweet. Oh, congratulations. And when when did you have him? Uh, last night at 10 p.m. So. Oh my goodness. You must be exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, pretty tired now, yeah. What are the main concerns that mothers um, and, and potential mothers uh, feel? So the main, the main issues that the women are having at the moment really are around sort of coming into hospital and worries about catching COVID, but also about the isolation after the baby's born. So yeah. they're having to self-isolate, so they're having limited support from their other family members. But actually, also, we need to remember that most of the partners will be working from home, so they do have that, that extended support from the partner. Yeah. But it's away from that anxiety around um, not being able to see their parents or their siblings. Um, yeah. yeah, it makes it quite difficult for them. And, and you're very aware of a difference or a shift in mothers' emotional um, and, and mental well-being um, in comparison to before the pandemic. Have you noticed a, a shift in that? I think Joe might all sound well. There's this. yeah. There's a lot more. There's a lot more anxiety. I think um, you're, we're finding that there's women that have no mental health history that are actually becoming incredibly anxious because of because of the situation currently. Um, so we're getting a lot more referrals in, which is specifically around anxiety to do with um, COVID. Do they know where to go? Do mothers know where to go to get the right support for particularly for emotional and mental well-being? Do you think? So the, the, um, so the midwives are very good at signposting um, to local talking therapy services. We have the perinatal mental health team within that we work with very closely within Kingston Hospital. Uh, and they have been sending out a weekly newsletter about coping mechanisms, about signposting to um, relevant services. And, you know, it's very, very rich information on there. So actually we, um, we circulate that out to the maternity unit so the midwives can use that to give to the women. Yeah, it's probably such a valuable sort of tool. Yeah, it's such a valuable tool for them now, particularly now. To you, to you all there, you're doing an amazing job, honestly. As you say, babies come all the time. So, you it's know, the fact that you're having to work yeah. in, these coming. <laughs> <laughs> in these difficult times, so well done. How are you all doing as well? Because obviously... You know, there's worries and stress and anxiety out there for families anyway, but you're obviously, you're still, you're still working there, it's extra pressure and worries, you know, you're meeting families with extra pressures and worries and things like that, and also trying to wear this very uncomfortable kit by the sounds of it as well. So are you, how are you and your families? Are you, are you managing, are you okay? Yeah. There's, there's the worry, but I think once we follow in the guidance and we are wearing our masks especially, I feel more, I feel personally, I feel secure. And then yeah. obviously we, we change out of our uniform so we're not travelling with the same uniform we are at work. The workload's still the same, but I think women are kind of surprised that our services are still available. Mm. I think we hear that, for example, supermarkets are closing, transport are reducing, they're kind of thinking, Oh, maternity probably isn't open, but saying we're still open, we're still here, we're still yeah. well. So do come on in, we can support you as we can. I think a challenge maybe is more so for me as a screening midwife when we're giving kind of difficult news. So yeah. three yeah, kind of the normality and the abnormalities. So I think yeah. it's an aspect of having that face-to-face -face contact and being at a distance and having your mask on, not seeing yeah. someone's facial expressions and knowing if she might be hesitating to say something. It was, yeah. It's a bit, but we're kind of working around it and we're saying, even with what's going on, we're still here to support you. We're still here to listen to you. We're still here to make sure we provide the best care for your pregnancy, for your baby, and support your family also. And yeah. then ensuring for women to know we're still here. How are the other children actually in the families that you go and see? How are they all doing? One of the differences that we found is that normally the, the mums, they will bring in either their, 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 their 
toddlers and their kids who are not at school. So that's one of the difference. So the waiting room is very quiet because there are no siblings there and no people in. Is this what is this what it looks like, Sam? Yes. Yeah. So oh, smiling. Can you tell? <laughs> I know that's what's it, with your eyes. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs>